Hello, it's Ali. Welcome to Scale Addiction. In today's video, we will be continuing on my 3D printed 8 scale Toyota Supra with 2 cylinder engine. So in the previous video, I 3D printed a fuel tank and resin printed and put it over there to make it more realistic. But the problem with that, we're not gonna know how much fuel we have. So we have to always open that cap and check it. The solution for that, if we have a transparent one, which I got from PCBWay. More about that later. So in order to run it, I put this fuel tank here temporary. But I'm gonna remove this and put this one at the back and extend the hose so we can refuel it from back and it will be more realistic. Next upgrade we have is the gear which I 3D printed and designed in the previous video. I 3D printed in PLA but it didn't work out. Of course it's gonna break but it was a test print. After I made sure everything is good then I send it to PCBWay to be 3D printed with metal. And we have it now and today we're gonna put it on and put the drive shaft and all these things and then we're gonna run it but i have another idea which i will design and 3d print a dyno which we will put it on push the car to the limit and see how it's gonna be I also designed the dyno on SketchUp and made it in sections so we can print it on any small 3D printer and you can connect everything with a small screw and I will provide all the details about the hardware as well. So because my car is rear wheel drive and I made everything with rear wheel drive and you can convert that into four wheel drive as well. So this is a back section which each wheel has two rollers. Each roller has two bearings and we can connect these and this is the middle section you're not gonna change anything uh, here is the front part if your car only rear wheel drive just like mine the front will be like this if your car is four wheel drive you're gonna print another set like this and put it over here then the dyno will be four wheel drive so the reason i designed this dyno i want to try out the full speed of this car because the last time i did on the second gear i crashed and now i want to do it on full speed and i don't want to take any damages on this so we're going to drive it full speed on this and i also so design it and 3D print it a chain so we can tie up the front and the back just like real one. So let's put the dyno together and test it out. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Think about PCBWay as all-in-one platform for CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. If you are working on a custom design like me and you want to have highest 3D print quality, this is the way to go. You just have to upload the STL file here, choose the material, and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCBWay is linked in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video.
Alright, driving it on a dyno is so much fun than electrical that it has a soul and that burning exhaust, that sound, everything makes sense with that engine and imagine if we have bigger engine with a different project. But overall it runs very good and sounds good. I also tuned the carburetor a bit so now it's way better than before. I was thinking to take it outside today but the weather is not helpful so maybe next time. I will make sure to put the STL file in the description box below for the dyno. You can use it for four wheel drive or two wheel drive just like mine. And to give you guys an update on the four cylinder engine, I think we're gonna have to redesign the chassis because even without the exhaust and intake, we can't fit it over there because of the starter motor. We can't change anything with the starter motor. So we're gonna have to redesign the chassis, maybe push these servos away a bit. So many of you wanted to stay the servo and that air suspension. So we're gonna leave that and redesign everything so we can put this four cylinder engine on Nissan Sky line r34 so if you guys enjoying the project like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye for now